Hey guys, welcome to the very first aquarium video on this channel. This is the aquarium I bought. It's the LED Aquarium Starter Kit 10. It's from Aquaculture, I think. I already opened it because last night when I bought it from the pump. Let's just open it again. So, here's the filter. We can open that a little bit. This looks like all of the directions and food and water starter or whatever, the coordinator. This is the lid. Right there. And this is the actual aquarium itself. Pretty good size. Oh yeah, we did. Also bought uh, rocks. So white ones. So there's those. And then also number two back right there. And all of this ended up costing me only. $42. So I set a $50 budget um, on myself to get decorations and maybe a heater and fish. So I don't know. But it's a good start. So I will pick you guys back up um, once I have the aquarium now. Alright, guys, so here it is with all the gravel and everything. Um, looks pretty good right in there. It's kind of cloudy, but it's whatever. And it took forever to put in all the water, because I only filled up like this much with water from the bathtub, like in the bathtub, and carried it over. And then I just used like these half gallon jugs for the rest. It took forever. Um, this is not the thing I put my lights in, I just went ahead and put warm water in the tank. Uh, so yeah, there's also these floaty things on top. I don't know, I think there's just pieces of rock, but well, I'm trying to catch it. Yeah, there's like pieces of rock that just float. So, I'll probably just give them out and throw away. Um, so, what y'all think? Of course, I'll get some plants and all that stuff, some decorations. And there's a gap in the video. Um, it's because Mark Madness is starting today. And I'm like 100% sure I have a perfect bracket. Not gonna lie. I, I picked every single game correct. <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to try and put in the filter right now, try and figure it out, and I'll see you guys once I have the filter going. Alright guys, so this is the aquarium with the filter running. Actually, it's not that hard to set up. Um, it's really, really quiet, too. Like, really quiet. Um, I actually, yeah, there it goes. I want it to make some of the water sounds. Like, you're like, running water. A little rock right there. And now it sounds like running water, so yeah, that's cool. Um trying to work on these LEDs right now. This comes with lights. Uh so yeah, open the package and there's fish food and dechlorinator and aquarium setup and maintenance, warranty stuff, like what is this fish guide? Something like that. The LEDs and some instructions. So I'll try to set these LEDs and I'll see you guys once I'm done. Alright guys, so this is the aquarium with the all lights on it. I think it looks really, really good and clean with the white rocks and the um, white bright LEDs. Uh, there are like all these little bubbles focus on that like all these bubbles they're on the sides on the filter and all of that so uh, I'm thinking they'll just eventually go away uh, probably once I get fish in which by the way I'll probably get fish um, probably hopefully today I already put in some 
purifier, make the tap water safe. I'm hoping it'll go in today. Um, fish. I'll also get some live plants too. Uh, also, I don't know if you guys can hear this, but here, maybe I'll closer. So I was able to actually make like waterfall sounds. So that's pretty cool. Um, I actually have a bunch of water like kind of evaporating out already. See it up there. I'll probably add in some more water just because I have another like inch and a half before I run out of space. I don't know. Once I put in plants and fish, I'll make that executive decision. Yeah, I was able to make the waterfall sound and also it acts like an aerator too because it has a lot of bubbles. This is what I did. I just put a rock right there and it splits it and makes sounds and bubbles. That's pretty cool. Also, I do not think that the pump came with a filter or not a filter, a top. So that's kind of annoying. Um, it looks super nice if it did, but oh well. Um, so yeah, I can't wait till I can get some fish in here and hopefully get them breeding and sell them and breed some fish for prawn. Like, that would be super cool. Also, when I was putting in the lights, um, so this is obviously on my desk. And I'm like, I should the rest of my desk it's kind of messy. <laughs> not gonna lie. So I just kind of took everything from this part and just shoved it over so I had space to make the aquarium. But... I ran out of plugs since I only have one outlet, so it has two plugs, and I have this lamp plugged into one of them, and I put the pump in. But I didn't realize also to plug in the lights, so I don't have any more. I actually had to go and find this power strip, which is pretty cool though because it's like lights and pump, and I have to turn off the cram. All I have to do is just hit this, and the lights go out, and the pump turns off. And then it actually looks really weird with the lights on. And then I just want to turn it back on, just switch, boop, lights on, and pump starts running. It's pretty cool. I'll probably let it cycle as long, well, just whenever I have an opportunity to go get fish, I'm go get them. I'll probably get like five or six mollies or so. And then we'll just see from there. Can't wait, this is gonna turn out so cool. So this has been my uh, aquarium build. I still have lots of things to add, like plants and decorations and fish and um, we'll see if I need a heater later on. I might, but I'm not too sure yet. I mean, it says with mollies you need a heater, but I mean, I'm thinking if it's inside, there's not really gonna be like temperature changes and the water's not really gonna get cold um, oh well, we'll see. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna read through all this information, like all the instructions and warranties and stuff, so I don't wanna like break the warranty and then the tank breaks and I can't get a new one. But yeah, so I'm just gonna end it here. So now we have aquarium set up, candy set up, which is kind of a mess because I was doing a bunch of stuff with the aquarium, had to move stuff out of the way. Um, I really need to go to the bank too, because I have like, oh, uh, close. I have all this cash from selling in the last like three or four weeks. Oh, all in all, with the cash and the change, it's like close to $400. So, I mean, I could easily afford to get an aquarium for 30 <laughs> So, that's kind of the nice thing about selling candy is I have money to go do what I want. Hopefully, you all like this new type of video. Share it with your friends. Um... It's breeding fish. It seems like it will be not really passive, but you don't really have to work that hard because fish, you don't really like make them breed. <laughs> uh, but you just kind of have to let them grow, breed on their own, give birth, and then just wait for the babies to grow up and sell them. Scoop them out, put them in a box, ship them off, and get your money. I don't know. Ho hopefully it's that easy. Probably won't be, though. So yeah, um, I'm trying to think of things to say, but there's not really that much to do. So French, I just setting up the aquarium. I 
got a wet paper towel and like kind of rubbed it on the inside to get out stuff and then filled it up, washed off the gravel and poured it in, got the filter running and then attached all the lights and put the hood on. That's what this top part's called, the lid's called the hood. And then hooked it up, plugged it in, started going. So what y'all think down below. Um, if I'm doing anything wrong, feel free to let me know because this, I'm a first time fish owner. My brother's actually been trying to get me to get fish forever. And it's finally like, you know what? I'm just gonna send it. <laughs> and I got tank and we'll see how it goes. I will see you guys whenever I get my fish or candy restock or maybe even day one candy selling. You never know. <laughs> see you then.